As the sun sets on this tropical island, we are waiting for some very special visitors to arrive. A pod of wild bottlenose dolphins who visit this spot on a nightly basis. Now, you might think this looks like the most relaxing spot and you wouldn't be wrong, but it has been an adventure to get here. So editors, let's hit us with a rewind and I'll fill you in. It's been a wild trip so far, snorkeling, quad biking, sand dunes and segways. Now I'm ready to have a nice relaxing dinner with the dolphins. The sun is set, the dolphins are dancing around in the water behind us. It's their dinner time, they're excited and so am I. Come on, let's go feed them. Okay, so take me through, how do we do this? Okay, so first of all, we just need to wash our hands really well. In the white bucket contains Milton antibacterial solution. So it's just a gentle hand wash and it will remove any dirt or germs we may have okay. on our hands before we take the fish. Nice and clean. So when we take the fish, there's one fish for you. Oh yeah, they're a bit smelly. So <laughs> when we hold the fish, we just hold okay. the fish just by the tail, yep. just like an ice cream cone. And then when we are in the water with the dolphins, we'll just place the fish down nice and deep under the water. And um, there's no need to be worried about the dolphin biting your fingers or anything like that. They have an extra sense called echolocation, so they know exactly where your fingers are and they know exactly where the fish is and they're only interested in the fish. That's amazing! <laughs> All right, let's do it. I'm so excited. Okay, so echolocation is a technique used by dolphins and other animals such as bats to find their way around. Dolphins emit clicks through their nasal passage to send out signals that bounce back and show the dolphins what's there. And as sound travels four times faster in water than in air, dolphins can see a lot. So like Sue said, they can see the fish, which means they won't be eating my pinkies for dinner. Yep, we'll just get Tink. Come Tinkerbell. So she's the... <laughs> Come on, Tink, over here. Good girl, Tinker Bell. There's got one of those little wobby gongs just there oh, as well. Wow. Oh, gosh, yep. OK, hey, me again. If you're not too sure what a wobby gong shark is, let me tell you. Firstly, no, it's not a made-up name. It actually means shaggy beard. They are great predators, waiting and hiding in plain sight, ready to pounce on their prey. They hunt for fish, crabs, lobsters and octopuses. Luckily, not humans. Still, I'd better be careful where I step. The well, Wobby Gong's just there oh, as wow. well. Oh gosh, yep. Come on, Tink, over here. So okay. I just put my hand down. Yep, so what we'll do, just when we feed them, we just put the fish down, just nice. We just need to come out a bit deeper okay. with her because she's got the baby. Oh my goodness. So we'll just take another few steps out. Hello. And then when we just put them under the water, Fish oh, under okay. the water, just Fish like under that. the water. Oh, yep. my so goodness. So nice and deep. OK, nice and deep. <gasps> OK, so she's tw our 29-year-old alpha female. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I am a very excited person, and I'm trying to keep calm, but this is incredible. Hello, she's nudging my leg. Oh, my goodness. OK, how do you tell the dolphins apart? Oh, you want food. I'm sorry, Tinkerbell. There you go. So we can generally tell them apart by their size, colourings, or any markings they may have. OK. But the main feature is actually their dorsal fin. Oh, and she's showing it off she's right now. She's showing it off now. Yeah. <laughs> so each dolphin has a different shape of dorsal fin. So to us, it's like looking at their Face. We only feed these dolphins around about 10 to 20 percent of their daily intake, so we do see the dolphins hunting before, during, and after the feed. So we don't have any negative impacts on their natural behaviour. So they're still living out their natural instincts, swimming around in the great big ocean as well. Absolutely, Perfect. yeah. Perfect. So, Sue, so are you helping with the conservation of dolphins here? Yeah, absolutely. We believe by taking people out into the water to be up nice and close to a wild dolphin and to hand feed it, suddenly people form a bond with the dolphin. They want to help the dolphin. They want to help the dolphin's home, which is the ocean. Yep. And suddenly they become aware of simple things that they can do, like fishing responsibly, throwing their rubbish in the bin. But not only are they helping the dolphins, they're helping all the marine life that live out in the ocean. Absolutely. And I tell you what, I have formed a bond 100%. I am just in total awe and amazement. 
Oh my gosh, that was absolutely incredible. Not many people get to see dolphins up close and personal like that in their natural habitat. I am just on cloud nine. What an amazing experience. Might even have a new favorite animal. Sorry, seals.